Question number four, Grant Robertson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance. Does he agree with the forecast of the Reserve Bank that unemployment will rise to 6.1 per cent by March next year? If so, what new action, if any, will he take to avoid this happening? The Hon. Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, the Reserve Bank is independent. It's not a matter of whether I agree or disagree with their forecasts. Those are their forecasts. Uh, by way of example of the government's action to uh, improve employment, today we released an update of the export markets work stream of the business growth agenda, the latest step in a program of reform designed to support businesses to invest another dollar and hire another, per uh, hire another person and back that up with confidence in the stability and credibility uh, of the government's leadership on the economy. The effects of this have been to see uh, 69,000 more jobs in the last year and the average wage now 10,000 higher than in 2008. Supplementary question. Mr. Supplementary Speaker. question, Grant way. Robertson. Does he still stand by his statement in the budget that unemployment will fall below 5% in 2016? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, now, that now looks unlikely because the economy is quite a lot softer. Uh, is a bit softer since then, mainly because of the substantial drop in the terms of trade. So it wouldn't make sense to stand by forecasts that were made in different circumstances. Oh, supplementary question, Mr. Supplementary Speaker. question, Grant Robertson. In light of that answer, then, is it acceptable to him that there are now 13,000 more people unemployed than in September last year when he was re-elected? Uh, the Honourable Bill English. Well, it's co of course it's undesirable. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Uh, and the government has, starting four years ago on welfare reform, uh, following through to the investment approach we're now applying, has probably a more sophisticated approach to the non-working population and government support for it than any previous New Zealand government. And the member could do well to study that policy because uh, it's a worthwhile one for the Labor Party to adopt. Supplementary question, Mr Speaker. Uh, supplementary question, Grant Robertson. Is he comfortable that under the Reserve Bank scenario more than 150,000 people will be unemployed and isn't this a sign he should adopt some new policies to deal with this? Uh, the Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, that it, there's, we're of course we're uncomfortable with people being unemployed. It happens that New Zealand has one of the highest proportions of its working age population available for work and in, and in work of all developed countries. So we have proven to have very good job producing capacity. But of course we don't think that's enough and that's why, for instance, uh, we're refreshing the business growth agenda, an ongoing and iterative process with the business community to build their confidence in investing in new jobs. Supplementary question, Mr. Supplementary Speaker. question, Grant Robertson. So the summary of his answers today is that he has no new plans to do anything to see unemployment get down to levels that he promised New Zealanders they would have. Yeah. The Honourable Bill English. No, no, Mr. Speaker. I think the member, the member would agree that's a fairly lazy summary. Uh, in fact, some new plans, some new plans have been issued today by the Minister for Economic Development, on top of any number of others just in the last couple of months. Question number five, Jamie Lee Ross. Mr Speaker, my question is to the 